Hi, my name is Maya Naim. Um, my, my museum is about masking intentions. Basically, I wanted to analyze masks and then how people see it on themselves and how they experience it for themselves. Um, basically, at first, I wanted to break down thoughts of masks, um, like different types and what they mean. Like what masks can be worn for uh, disguises, or they can be meant to conceal, not necessarily be a mask though, as a like as in makeup or a costume. A mask can also be used to intimidate and also. To They can also be used as just a facade or a lie. Yeah. Basically, a mask brings all these aspects together, and they can be used in different ways at different times by different people. As for the site, I want to keep it the same because Red Hook seems to want to stay um, as it is, but I still made some changes just not to to mask the intention of the, the museum and then bring it out um, once they actually do experience the space. Things like uh, everyday items that you need to find, books, food, uh, pie, can be found in some of the more ordinary places. <coughs> but Ikea tends to overshadow a lot of bread milk, unfortunately. I wanted to stay away from that. As for the facade, I wanted to change it. Instead of just being completely uh, half circles, I wanted it to become more of a curtain of the side. In terms of scale, I wanted to show, I wanted the building to be viewed as far away, but once you get up close, you see more detail as you go along, like different materials that can be used. <coughs> On the human scale, people can experience the rooms, but like, um, by things that are at their level. But once they get into spaces, uh, the grandeur kind of takes away um, from the human aspect. And then replaces it with uh, uh, As for the small scale, I wanted it to go um, with uh, individual versus group. Basically, I want um, people to see how um, their psychology is by uh, how people experience viewing a mask, and then how they view others in group, and then how they react to them. And then these were the programs I wanted to include in my building, and then their interest groups throughout the building. Mainly for my concept, I wanted to see how I would view and feel wearing a mask, then look at how it would actually change my appearance or physical changes, and then how others would view me. Um, for the first floor, I, ha I wanted to set up a masquerade um, where people would come in and they would be given a costume, identity, or persona and then they would be allowed to act as how they pleased. And then they could, once they were through um, the party, they could, they would uh, go to the next floor. But before then, they would actually go through a separate hall where they would actually be able to look through and see the masquerade as it's going on and realize that they had been watched the whole time. And then for the uh, second floor, I wanted it to be a murder mystery. But then I also thought, 
why not break it up into more uh, scenes going on? And then once they go, people already realize that they're going to be viewed by this floor. And then they um, move on, and then they get to see more people interacting with different scenes. On the floor, third floor, um, they actually go through and then they view the play first. But then, uh, then they are allowed to change and become part of the play, but are given a script more so. In terms of density, I wanted to confine people in the beginning and then let them uh, intersperse between the building as they go through. And then flow and see the building as in terms of group, individually, or um, and then also view um, the rooms, how they would possibly see these, and then my vision of them. And then I wanted to see how the rooms would uh, break, come together, and then how they would stack and become the building that I wanted. 